spoke before a council um, when the Revolutionary War was at the beginning of its peak. That's right. mm -hmm. And he was wanting to inspire the audience to let the, the, the audience know that we are in for the fight of our life. That's right. That's right. And there's going to be a lot of travesty, mm -hmm. a lot of death mm -hmm. yeah. in the fight. But we are fighting for a good cause. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I, I realized and that I've learned that when you are fighting for a good uh, cause, I heard Dr. King once say, he said that a man that will stand for, uh, show me a man that will stand for something, and I'll show you a man that will fall for anything. All right, that's what he said. Well, with Patrick Henry, he wanted to say something that was positive, that was inspiring to the people that uh, of his peers. Uh, I think George Washington was in the audience. Uh, uh, Thomas Jefferson uh, was in the audience. Uh, John Adams were in the audience. A few uh, of the founding fathers of America was in the audience. And so he wanted to be uh, very instrumental. He wanted to do his part and contribute to this great cause. So the slogan came up, give me liberty or give me death. Mm -hmm. That brings me to the topic or the, the text on tonight. Um, we are living in an age to where people are dying at an alarming rate. Uh -huh. And it's so crazy because when you, every time you turn on the TV, it looks like it's always us. Uh -huh. Come on now. I'm trying to figure out what is it that, I think, who was it, uh, Elijah? Once said, he told uh, the Most High, he says, are we uh, nothing but slaves? Mm -hmm. uh, is, is, there, is there a reason why every time you turn around, we, are, uh, we find ourselves in captivity? Mm -hmm. Why is it that every time that, you know, we, we turn around, there's always something uh, that, that is dealing with negativity. We always see the face of us mm -hmm. in it. Is there a reason why, when it seems like we're stepping two steps forward, we always end up two steps back? Right. Have you ever thought about, just for one minute, or took the time to wonder, how in the world is it that I can uh, have the positive mind, have my goals in mind that I'm going to reach? And it seems as soon as I get on the road to creating something for myself or for my family, it always ends up in a downhill spiral. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered why it always happens that way for us? It seems like every time you turn around, we go to the doctor and we're sick. Why we're sick? Why oh, every time we turn around when we open up a magazine and the first face that we see dealing with sickness is us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is it, and it seems like sometimes when our neighbor, it seems like they can be the biggest hell raisers on the face of the earth or even in the community. And it seems like we're doing everything that's right. And it seems like we can't get ahead. All right. Hmm. I wonder. Has anybody ever had that thought? Oh, yeah. Have you ever, have you ever worked so hard to get that promotion on the job? And then the next man that didn't work that hard? Get it. Get Come it. Come on now. All right. Come on. Go ahead. Talk about it. What's really going on? But we're church going folk. Mm -hmm. We come to church, we pay our tithes. Right. And it seems like things still ain't quite right. Mm -hmm. hmm. See, Don't I it make it. you think? Mm -hmm. What is it that we've done that, de that we deserve this kind of punishment? What kind of God do we serve that will have this to happen to a people that wants to serve him? Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered? Hmm. The preacher always preaches about grace. Even when we make the mistake, he always preaches about grace. If though grace is something new. What if I told you that grace was in the beginning? What if I told you that grace showed up in the garden? What if I told you that the tree of knowledge, there was nothing wrong with it? That's right. You're talking good. Come That's on. right. Have you ever thought, okay, this cat right here, he's he he he's crazy now. 
You don't mind if I cut this off, do you? Hey. Okay. On today, I want to show you some things that, and, and we read the text of 2 Timothy because we're going to end up coming back to 2 Timothy. Mm -hmm. But I want to take you to a place that the regular traditional church don't take you. Mm -hmm. oh. If you don't mind, um, prophetess, mm -hmm. I want you to, you know what, go to uh, Hebrews to Negroes. Yes, a okay. uh, yep. uh -huh. Now, real quick, can somebody go to Deuteronomy chapter 28? They say... There's no other Bible that I would rather read than the King James Version mm -hmm. Bible because the King James Bible is flawless. Suppose, and this is just a theory, this is just a thought, so I don't want nobody getting mad at me. Suppose I told you that even the King James in which I hold has been tampered with. And there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. There's a hidden agenda behind the temple. Mm -hmm. We think that God, we think that Lord yeah. is his name. Mm -hmm. Talk about it, bro. Talk we grew up, our fathers, our grandmothers, our, our grandfathers mm -hmm. taught us that Lord and God that's, and, and Jesus, those were the names. Yeah. We never thought twice about it. Talk about it. But suppose I told you that those names replace some other names that was there. I got proof. Who got their phone? Sure, Doc. You got your phone? All right. Now, the word Jesus, it originated from another name, which was a Latin Greek name. Talk about it. Okay. And it was called Jesus. Yes, sir. Why was it called Jesus? In the 1611 Bible, yes, sir. the letter J didn't exist. It's only 419 years old. That's right. That's right. Come on now, break it down. Only 419 years old. Now watch, I'm going somewhere. So what happens is we we somehow in history we miss the really educational moments that enlightens us, enlightens us as a people. But there's a reason why it was hidden from us. And we're getting ready to show you. Did anybody get Google yet? All right, type in Jesus. The Latin word, no, type in the Latin meaning to Jesus. Now this is where the word originated from. And whoever has it, I want you to stand up and read it real quick. Now, you can Google this. Now, the problem with black folks, we don't study. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you, Bishop. As a preacher, I've been preaching since 2000, um, 1994, August 8th, 1994. The only time that I would pick up a Bible was when I was getting ready to preach. Oh, my God. That's bad. Brother Jay, it's bad. Yeah. It's bad. That's right. But this is 85% of who we call the traditional church. Wow. Mm -hmm. The only time that we want to even hear a word is if right. we make it to Bible study. That's right. If we make it to Bible study. If we make it to Sunday school. And then hear from the pastor. And we take the pastor's word for it. This has been happening generation after generation. Mm -hmm. right. Second Timothy 2 and 15 says, Study to show thyself approved mm -hmm. unto Elohim, mm -hmm. a workman that needed not to be ashamed, mm -hmm. rightly mm -hmm. dividing mm -hmm. the word of truth. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go back to look at the word, it says, Study to show thyself approved 
the definition of that says do the research. Yep. Yeah, he does. Yes, sir. It does. Yes, sir. It does. Follow it up. Yes, sir. It does. And if a good pastor like this bishop right here, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. he'll say, don't take my word for it, Kelly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look it up for yourself. Don't, yes, sir. don't yes, sir. take my word for it. So many people are going to be lost mm -hmm. by following a man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The man that, that buys millions of dollar jets That's right. of your money. Talk about it, sir. sir. Talk about it, sir. Mm. And they say this is a part of the tithes. Mm -hmm. We're not going to go there. <laughs> okay. All right. Deuteronomy. Who, who has it? Deuteronomy chapter 28? I have it. Okay. All right. Let's speed up the process. Who had, did, did, did Google Cup pop up for anybody? What you want? Okay, type up the word, uh, the Latin meaning to Jesus. She got it. She got it. And I'm going somewhere with this. I'm not going to be long. I'm going to show y'all how we as a people have been so misconstrued. It's a fact that black people are the most spiritual people on the face of the earth. Why is that? We get ready to find out. We get ready to find out. Okay, just for a second. Bishop, can I turn this? Yes, sir. Just for a second. We'll get to that in a second. All right. Did you, did you get it, Elder? Yes. Can you read it for me? Now look, if y'all if y'all don't have it on your own time, write it down. Write what we say, write it down, and follow it up. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm just here to make you think. Talk about it. Come on. Yeah. Mm. All right. That's good. You ready? Yeah. The name Jesus means earth pig. Uh -huh. Jesus pronounced Jesu. And this is from Latin word named uh Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Jesus. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. But I'm sorry, take me back to the Hebrew writing. Listen. Now, Brother Damon, you got you got Deuteronomy yes, chapter sir. 28? Yes, sir. Okay. Can somebody read um I don't I want to kind of skip around a little bit just to for the sake of time. All right. Um let's start at the let's start, we're gonna start at um Let's start at the, uh, the first verse. Uh, uh, read uh, verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, and verse 4. Okay. Of Deuteronomy 28? Deuteronomy 28. All right. Deuteronomy 28, starting at the first verse. Now, we always hear this as a church. Mm -hmm. We always hear this. Listen to this. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Verse 2, And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. Three. Verse 3, Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Uh-huh. Verse 4, Blessed shall be the fruit of the of thy body uh -huh. and the fruit of thy ground uh -huh. and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind. Okay. And, and the flocks of thy sheep. Okay. It goes on to go. I'm gonna speed up the process a little bit. It goes on to say that blessed shall be your coming in. Yes. And blessed shall be your going out. Y'all remember that? Yes, sir. Fred Hammond, he was singing that. Glory to glory to glory. Y'all know that song, right? Okay, this is, what, this is what the scriptures goes on to say, blessed, that y'all shall be above and, and not beneath. You shall be the head yes, and not the tail. Y'all know that. Okay, now we're going to skip down. We're going to speed up the process a little bit. 15, uh, Brother Damien. Verse 15. Uh-huh. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I don't remember my former pastors nope. teaching none of that. Ever. But the beginning, I remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, watch this. We're going to skip to the 25th verse, Brother Damien. Yes, sir. Uh, said 25th verse? Uh-huh. The Lord shall call cause thee to be smitten before thine enemy. Uh -huh. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. It's starting to sound like a people. All right, let's right, we're going to skip real quick. Go to the 29th verse mm -hmm. and the 30th. 29 and 30? Yep. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind groveth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Uh -huh. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Mm -hmm. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shall not gather the grapes there. Okay, we're going to skip to the uh, 32nd verse. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people, uh -huh. and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. All right, now, watch this. Skip all the way to the 45th verse, and then we're going to read the 45th, the 46th, and the 47th verse. And then the last verse we're going to read is going to be the 48th verse. So 46 to 48. I mean 45 49. to 48. Yeah, there you go. Y'all okay. read this on your own time. Read that whole book. Go ahead. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to what? keep his commandments. Wait a minute. Read that again. You mean start over? No, no, no. Uh, just uh, hearken. Start right there. Okay. Uh, thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes uh -huh. which he commanded thee. All right, read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Okay, we're going to stop right there. We're going to stop right there real quick. Um, all right, skip all the way to um, the 58th, 60th verse, and we'll end, well, let's say 58 through 61. Okay, 58 through 61. Yep, and this is what we're going to end in Deuteronomy. You want me to read all four verses? Yeah, please. Okay. <coughs> verse 58 of Deuteronomy 28. Uh -huh. If thou wilt not observe to do all the word of this law, that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God. 59. Then the Lord will make thine plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continu continuance, and sore sickness, sicknesses, and of long continuances. Uh -huh. Verse 60. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Okay, stop right there. Listen, there is no other people in the entire world that this book, this scripture fits other than the so-called Negro of America. Mm -hmm. Now some of y'all may be too young to know that word Negro. Mm -hmm. You got to kind of get it mixed up with the other word that, uh, <laughs> yeah. But Negro is a word that describes a color. Mm -hmm. yes. It doesn't describe a people. Yes. Negro is a Spanish word that, would, that came from Spanish Portuguese yes. or Portugal, yes. Spain. Yes. 
Um, there's a long story behind that, but look that up too, called the Spanish Jews. What I'm saying to you on tonight is that you are the people. You are the descendants of the people. Not only that it's been proven biblically, but it's been proved uh, biologically through your DNA. Uh, it's, it's been proven, uh, um, um, let's see, biologically, biblically, uh, um, and spiritually. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there is no other people that this these scriptures fit other than us. We are the only ones that are enduring the hardship. Now you would have thought through civil rights, bro, you lived through that. Yeah. That we came out of that. But I believe that we're in the worst of shape than we was back then. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they didn't trade their police dogs. Mm. For the police. Yes, Lord. There's a reason why these things are happening the way that they're happening yes. to us as a people. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get mad at our fellow. Now, we were been, we, I don't know about y'all, but we grew up believing that we were Gentiles. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what we grew up. We believed that we were Gentiles. Yes, sir. But the fact of the matter is, we are the descendants of what they call Ebre. You, you say, what? what is Ebre? Ebre is the actual original word Hebrew. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Right. Hebrew didn't come along until the 8th century. Talk about it. Jew, the word Jew is an artificial word. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't come along, Bishop, until the late 8th century. Mm -hmm. there you go. What was the word before Jew? What does Jew mean? Well, Society says that Jew means Judah. But when you go back to trace the origin of Jew, it came from South Russia. And it means to be ish. It means to be something like, but not quite the exact thing. So well, what was the word before Jew? It was called Yahuda. Yahuda. That word still exists. Mm. Where does it exist at? It exists in Africa. Mm -hmm. West Africa. Right. And those people, now they're saying the lost tribes of Israel, but what if I told you they were never lost? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Judah was the only one that was lost. Talk about mm -hmm. it. Talk about it. Yahuda. Mm -hmm. The Yahudim. Yes, That's who we are. Yes, That's sir. what your heritage is. That's yes, what your race is. Yes, this is not a religion for us, elder. That's right. The next time they say, what is your religion? What is your belief? Are you a Christian? Talk about what is your sir. belief? Talk about no. It. I am Yahudim. Yes, I am Yahuda. Yahuda. Yes, and that this is not religion. This is culture. culture. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Jesus in which we know today said that you honor me with your lips, yes, sir. but your heart is far from me. Yes, sir. You've been caught up in your in man's traditions. Mm -hmm. Well, what is man's traditions? Hmm. Christmas, Valentine's Day, October, Easter. So let me ask you something, theoretically, Bishop. When does, I'm, I'm from the country, I'm from Candor, North Carolina. I know some of y'all from Dillon. But for me, I'm from Candor. And, and the thing about Candor is, when a rabbit has a baby, it has a small rabbit. Yes, sir. That's right. yes, sir. I've never known a rabbit to have an egg. Teach. Come on, break it down. The first lie that we've been taught to teach our children is the egg. It's the Easter egg. Come on now. So what if I told you that in Leviticus talks about the Christmas tree? Jeremiah. 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 Thank you. Jeremiah. So what if I told you that it, its origin came from Nimrod? That's right. That's right. Now how in the world did we get to this point? What if I told you that all of the churches, Baptist, Catholic, AME, uh, Methodist, Lutheran, 
Islam. What if I told you all those religions came from the Catholic Church? Talk about it, son. Talk about it, son. That's right. Elder, you can pull it up. I promise you. Talk you can about pull it up. Talk about it, sir. What if I told you that the Pope, the first, Pope Joseph, signed a ballot for slavery to enslave right. your forefathers? That's right. That's right. What if I told you that it's because of what he did? It's because you are here. That's right. But we can't blame, we can't blame Esau. Esau which the Bible says is the Edomites, mm -hmm. yes, sir. the other race that brought us here. We can't right. blame them. Yes, sir. We can only blame our forefathers. Yes, sir. How do we get in this predicament? Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Let's go to John, St. John. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you go to St. John, I'm sorry. May I read the 64th verse, please? That's what I'm talking about. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64 uh -huh. and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people mm -hmm. from the one end of the earth uh -oh. even unto the other uh -oh. mm -hmm. and there shall there shall serve other gods uh -huh. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known uh -huh. even wood and stone uh -huh. okay. okay babe this is what I need you to do I need, because they need to see a visual. Black folks have to see a visual. All right, there's a book. There is a book called the Zanderman Bible Dictionary. Now, we've been taught that we were Hamites. Ain't that what we've been taught? The Zanderman Dictionary, it says Ham. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, uh-oh, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Li what's that, Liberians, mm -hmm. the Canaanites, and Canaanites. Now check this out, the last word, Canaanites. The Canaanites mixed with the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Did y'all know that? That's right. All of these were dark people. Yes, sir. If you wonder, every time something happened in North Egypt, now, the Middle East didn't become the Middle East <laughs> until the 1700s. Yes, sir. Good word, bro. It was North Africa. That's right. Teach you good, sir. North Africa, right. it consisted with Israel. Jordan, Galilee, uh, um, Arabia. It was all of Palestine. That's what it was called, Palestine. But what, it, what, what was it before it became Palestine? It was called the land of Canaan. If those who know the story about Canaan, Canaan was the grandson of Noah. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Scripture says that Noah cursed Canaan. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Because... His father, Ham, looked at him, his naked body, mm -hmm. and laughed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he said, curse be to Canaan. Mm -hmm. So how did we get that Ham was cursed? How did we get there? This is